Welcome to this tournament for Rome Tult War 2 vs 2. Players on my Discord are competing against each other and this here is the first match. So, we've got different teams going on in the Discord. Uh, there's basically Dwarves, Elves, Mordor, Gondor. But you don't have to know anything about the Lord of the Rings to take part, it's just names for fun. Uh, and today we have the Elves on this side fighting against Mordor on that side. Um, of course, we've got Isenbard here, playing as the Egyptians. They have, of course, all got their own set rules and stuff. Uh, like, maximum of this type of unit. Um, he's got some chariots over here, uh, which, yeah, some heavy chariots. I love to see chariots. Well, to spectate, not actually fight against. Where's his general unit? So his general's over here, um, as a phalanx unit. Keeps moving them around because I'm in spectator mode. I could pause it, but I don't really want to. He's doing this on purpose, dancing back and forth, forth just to annoy me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's got some phalanxes there, some archers, and some basic bowmen. Over here, we have Starkiller, who's uh, playing as Mastodon, brought some uh, some royal pikemen, again, some archers, uh, some Illyrian skirmishers, cavalry, ooh, companion cavalry. Uh, he's got his Cretans at the front. I love seeing Cretans. More phalanxes, his general disappeared. Uh, here it is, armoured bodyguard. And yeah, so that's... That's for Elven Army. Now let's see Mordor's. By the way, this is a tournament with loads of different players in, loads of different 2v2 uh, teams. Uh, whoever wins, of course, scores points for their team on Discord, but they also win a copy of Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, for Steam. I had a few Steam keys, two for Hearts of Iron 3, and uh, might as well give them to the two winners. Uh, it's not the winner of this, this is just one match, it'll be, of course, whoever wins the final. Uh, this is going to be a two-part series, there'll be like, I think there'll be like two or three battles shown here, I'm unsure. Alright, and here we go, so playing as Mordor, uh, first of all, we have the Lone Berserker over here. Right, let's just pause it because we're going to start moving against each other now. Playing as Armenia, very interesting choice. We've got some cataphracts, some Javelins, and some, what are these? Armenian Legionaries. Armenian Legionnaires. Um, over here, just some basic Killman, Archers, Phalanx unit here. Has every faction gone for a Phalanx unit? No, Skippy Eye over here. So yeah, that's Armenia. Playing as a strippy out, we have um, Aim Nestus. Aim Nestus. Aim Nestus, we'll call him that. Uh, he's brought some, playing as a strippy out, of course, for Romans. Uh, we've got some heavy cavalry over here. General, uh, some ooh, urban cohorts, uh, some basic archers. And that's about it. Again, more archer auxilia. But yeah, for, for a Roman faction, not much in terms of actual heavy infantry. Actually, there's no heavy infantry at all, it's just archers. And, of course, two urbans and um, four cav, but still, that's, that's not that much. Interesting choice. Maybe that's just how to play as a Romans, like just a few very heavy units and then archers. Right, the archers are firing in onto the Egyptians. Egyptians trying to return fire. So it begins. I love saying that line. <laughs> Alright, the front line of archers is getting completely slaughtered. The back line though is doing okay. Let's take a look. How are the Egyptian archers looking? They're actually holding out quite well. Yeah, reasonably, reasonably well. Uh, but I, I guess these units here are just kind of fodder there, like meant to die. The chariots on the side, ready to charge in if they get the chance. The cataphracts over here as well. Uh, it looks like Macedon's trying to uh, shape their army around to be able to deal with the cataphracts. Although if cataphracts charge into these pikemen, pikemen aren't going to stand a chance. They're just in a break. We've got the heavy cavalry. Um, a companion cavalry trying to mark them, watch them, make sure that they don't uh, get any easy kills. Yep, 
Yeah, that's what we need to do. Break up like that, then charge in the middle. Oh, I've got to be very careful. Oh, that's really not good for Macedon there. I didn't lose a cavalry unit. Yep, instant break. Oh, it's really not looking good for Macedon with a cavalry. Alright, what's happening over here? Alright, so, yeah, oh, the cataphracts got around, cataphracts got around, but it seems like Egypt is breaking as well. The cavalry's charging the chariots. Is this, this isn't the general, but Scipio is sending in their general. Yeah, they're really pushing forwards with the generals right now. They caught the chariot on the side, and that's just an of course collapse. Yep, that of course broke. You can see it right now. Armenia getting round Macedon. But try and charge the chariots in the side. Hit the cavalry. They're trying to get a phalanx in here. Oh, another chariot's broken. It's really not looking good for the elves right now. Again, more chariots. Oh, but they got a lucky kill on the general. Where is the general? Yeah, one of the chariots got a very lucky kill in the general. That's going to be a massive morale hit. The phalanx is coming in, putting pressure. Right, now's the time to charge. There we go. Okay, that's that's big. They broke the cavalry. Got a lucky kill on the general. Now that means here, these units, their morale, still probably done a hold as it is urban cohort, but it's much weaker. Right, let's check out the Macedon front. Alright, so yeah, Macedon's not actually doing that well. I think Egypt should beat Rome, but Armenia will probably beat Macedon just because of these cataphracts here, being able to destroy the cavalry and get around. It's still not over yet. The legionnaires are coming in. They should actually destroy that. Yeah, yeah, Macedon's falling. Macedon needs to actually pull out of this battle, I think, and regroup with Egypt. Otherwise, they're all going to get picked off one by one against the cataphracts. Yeah, the cavalry got slaughtered there. They would have actually won over here, the cavalry, but they, they got really unlucky. They lost the general, and yeah, that's, that's what collapsed it for them. The morale broke. And now I think Rome is mostly finished. Right, the chariot's coming over to try and attack. Ooh. Alright, they got quite a few kills there. All these scythe chariots charging in. Oh, heavy chariots. But they are scythe. They do, like, cut the hall. Uh, they do cut the feet of the cavalry. Of course, they are, of course, going to lose, but they took out a big chunk of them. Actually, that's the only bit of cataphracts that isn't armoured for feet. So if you can get some chariots in there, just to cut the feet away. I don't know if it would work in game, but historically I can imagine that working. Just cutting their feet away. What a beautiful sight that would be. Cataphracts charging on the missile units. Big problem with cataphracts is that they're slow, which means enough archer fire eventually they'll go down. Looks like they're done a break Macedon's Cretans. Egypt. They've finished the Romans off, they're done over there, but now they've got to bring all the troops on this side. They can't turn the Rome phalanxes around because they've got to deal with these Armenians. So Egypt having to come in and save the day. Can they do it? Pharaoh's guard charging in. They're throwing everything. They need to destroy these cataphracts. But this is what's going to decide the battle. Ooh, catap Ooh, ooh, ho, ho. a cataphract charged into the back of these here. I saw it coming, but they lost the general because the general charged first. Probably should have blown that trumpet, slowed him down a bit. Then they would have broken them there. Another unlucky death with the general. Actually, may have actually gotten killed by a friendly phalanx. I have seen it happen before. Maybe that was it. But that's two unlucky deaths with a phalanx. Well, one unlucky one. This one here could have been... Yeah, if if he'd blown a trumpet, slowed the general down, because, you know, he does his little celebration in midair. And that could have been different. 
But yeah, Macedon and Egypt still both have their generals alive. The teams actually score extra points for killing generals as well. So they definitely don't want to uh, be, be aiming for the generals there. I like how Egypt and Macedon played with their generals. They really defended them. But yeah, Armenia and especially the Scipriai charged from forwards a little too early. There goes the cataphracts and now it's all just collapsing for Armenia. Without a general, what have... Armenia have a very weak faction without the cataphract generals. It's all done a collapse for Armenia now. Yeah, what do we have left? Some archers over here. Uh, they've got a fighting a phalanx that's facing the wrong way. They'll probably beat this, but at this point, what is there left? Just a line of dead Macedonians. Oh, they were doing so well. Where Armenia, but then Egypt came in and saved the day for them. Although, despite that, I think Armenia still would have lost the general in that charge. So maybe Macedon might have been able to hold the ground. Maybe. Maybe for a bit longer, I don't know. But either way, well done to Egypt and Macedon here, played by Starkiller and Isenbard. Uh, representing the elves in the Discord team. They of course go through. Uh, thank you to um, Aimnestus and uh, Lone Berserker here for playing as Mordor. Sadly they do get eliminated but I hope to see you them um, in the next tournament. But that's not it. We've got a few more games to play today and then a few more next week and then maybe the final might be its own episode. Depends how it does. Armenia here trying to regroup with what they have, their morale has recovered but yeah just look at that, they can't even hold out against one phalanx and just instant collapse there. They were, they were actually charged in melee by Cretan archers in loose formation and still all this broke. Like, the morale was finished. Isenbard getting 1000 kills, Starkiller 600, uh, 1200 kills there so yeah Armenia got the most kills, uh, the Scipi didn't get as many. But overall, a very good battle. Thank you to everyone for playing. Good games and goodbye.